I remember the first time someone sent me LOL and I didn't know what it meant at all. It's like a second language, pretty much. LOL. Yeah, I laugh out loud. Brothel. Roll on the floor laughing. WBU, which is what about you? JK, I use quite a lot, <laughs> which means just kidding. CBA, you know, can't be bothered. B R B L O L L M F A O P M S L um, S Y L. Um, I'm just making some of these up now. <laughs> the film is a modern version of Romeo and Juliet. Like technology is quite prominent. Russell, who's Romeo in this film, um, is obsessed with technology. You know, he's about you know being on Facebook, it's, you know, name dropping all these sites. We thought it'd be more tongue in cheek, that, like this phone breaking instead of noses breaking. There are a problem, you ladies. I agree. It's as if when the phone breaks, your life's over. So it's as if you died, and it's really good to see how they've adapted the original Romeo and Juliet script to this. It's tongue-in-cheek and it's comedy. But when you actually look at it and then you look at it, people using their phones in every day, it's actually, that's how much you are on your phone. It's quite surprising when you take a step back and look at it. To be or not to be, that is the question. What is done is done and cannot be undone. I think that's one. Some are born great. Some achieve greatness, and some have greatness thrust upon them. Um, one from Macbeth, the night is long that never finds the day. I really like that one. Romeo, Romeo, where for art thou, Romeo? We've got a narrator which has been beamed forward from Shakespearean time. Because he, his language he uses is contrast differently with all the other kind of dialogue. It's given them that license to, to have a bit of a, a fun with that character. The narrator, he's sort of stuck in, in times, two times, like the Shakespearean times and Facebook times. We're also using the Old English and a little bit of today's English. Or do I actually have a dictionary in my, in my bag where I just had to check, just constantly check what this word means. I didn't know what pernickety meant. <laughs> a pair of star-crossed lovers take the chance, bringing families and friends to blows. I knew nothing about Shakespeare. From researching him, he comes across as someone who we just understood life. Everything that he had written back in his day and age was relatable to the people then, so definitely, if, if he can do it then, he would certainly be able to do it now, yeah. He'd probably be turning in his grave right now at, at any abbreviations. But then, on a complete opposite hand, he did make up stuff himself, so maybe these days he'd give social media some new, decent abbreviations. Kids still study Shakespeare at school. I think his like work has stood the test of time. So I'm sure he'd be someone, you know, same as everyone, he'd be, yeah, using Twitter, I think. The way people actually use social media and messaging as a tool for sort of romance, rather than having to come out in person and say, oh, I really like you or whatever. They're able to sort of show their feelings without actually having to confront them and being at risk of being put down straight away, like. I definitely know that I'm more connected with people through internet. You know, if you haven't seen that person in a long time or, you know, you just want to catch up, you know, it's easy to do that because, you know, everyone does it, so it's just a, it's just the regular thing. Russell uses um, social media to get like revenge at who my cousin is, uh, Tahir. He wants everyone to film him bullying him, basically. Oh, it's awful. It's really bad. People online kind of do hide behind their screen because not much things are said face to face in real life, whereas online, a lot of things are said that are really like offensive and hurtful. I think we know more about each other because people post more online about what they've done today, their animals, their family, but in person, I think we're more isolated.